Yeah, I look to be both about the right levels now, so that's good. Woohoo! I'm generally quieter anyway, so. Yeah. You have a deep, booming voice. I do. Which carries on microphones. Listen to the sound of my booming voice. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, we should probably start this. I'm probably going to put... This is not This is going to be sort of about a minute in at this point. I'm not yeah. going to edit that beginning bit. I'm just going to leave that. Just leave that hit. bit in, yeah. So, listen to that. Yeah, so at this point, I'd like to welcome everyone to the non-refundable episode three. Um, which has myself, Niff, and once again, Jason, aka okay, Samurai Gopher. Hello. And once again, he has waved at me in the <laughs> audio podcast. One day he'll learn. Never. And off the uh, at the top of the thing, top of the thing, top of the podcast, top of the, what's the top of the bill? That's the top of the bill. That's what I'm after. Uh, we obviously have the disclaimer from the 177 Entertainment Legal Department. And I just hit my microphone. Apologies. Uh, so, uh, the 177 Entertainment team would like, just like to remind you that this is a non-refundable podcast. We here at 177 Entertainment make no promises that what you're about to listen, listen to will contribute to your life in any way. There is a high chance that what you're about to hear is totally inaccurate and the views expressed within are solely those of the parties involved and do not represent 177 Entertainment's view on politics, celebrities, news, facts or opinions on the world in general. We would also like to remind you that this is a satirical podcast, or at least aims to be, and uh, may contain mild sarcasm and the occasional joke. Those of a serious disposition or lack of the understand, uh, understanding when it comes to attempts at comedy may want to turn off now. Please also listen responsibly. I'm getting better at that. Yeah. I also haven't called it a podcast yet. so I actually missed that. No. Well, the, my disclaimer. Do I need to no, read it again? You're Just calling it a podcast. The non the non The non 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 Whenever I fuck up, it just reminds me of my favourite Bill Bailey, uh, Billy Connolly joke, which is why uh, Linonium never took off. And that's because no one can say it. It's impossible to say. Yeah, it's because you walk into a, a shop and go, I'd like to buy a roll of Lilolilum. <laughs> and then the sales associate will go, like, a what? And you go, a, a roll of Lilolilum. I was like, come again? A, a roll of li- oh, Fuck it, give me a carpet. <laughs> that's a, a, a proper 1970s joke there about Linonium. <laughs> For those of you too young to know what linoleum is, it's a very awful well floor substitute. <laughs> yeah, it's somewhere between laminate and carpet. Yeah, but it's, it's it's awful. Horrible. It is awful. If horrible. you have, go to your nan's house, it's probably what they got in the kitchen yeah, or the bathroom. Almost certainly. It's yeah. cork, I want to say, or cork. No, no it's cork substitute. Mm-hmm. It's like foam with a vinyl top, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's spongy, but shiny and plasticky it's a very odd substance it's something yeah it's something that you don't ruin your wood i think is what yeah, it was designed basically. for again i'm not a i'm not a flooring expert so i don't know not a florist re- a florist yeah no not a florist or a florist yeah. uh i've lost my things there it is cool uh so you don't have many things to talk about from your face i don't really have anything to talk about from my I face i have a thing to ask you to, okay. for you to make noise about for your face hole okay uh you, you've got a new job thingies I have got a new job thing is, yes. Um, for copyright reasons, we probably shouldn't say the name of the no, company because you may have to pay them some form of royalty. Yes. Uh, but we should describe them as they give you the extras for your holiday. They do, yes. and and they do that very well. Mm. And now I Some am, would say class leading. Some would say that. Um, yeah, like I am now part of the team that uh, produces content for their website. So you're, a, in fact, a content creator. I am a content creator, <laughs> yes. I, I write content with my... Tiny little fingers. There's a there's a there's a song in that uh, movie theater. I can't remember what it is. It's a it's a rap song. You won't know. It. I was gonna say. Yeah. I, I literally have no idea what <laughs> no, you're talking it's, about. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's something something something. A, a, a rolling on wheels like a movie theater. I think Still I don't, don't know. know. No, Still don't know. One of those things you get the little. Is it Jay Z? Yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> could be Jay Z or the Snoop Dizzles. Could be the Snoop Dizzles. The could Snoop be Dizzles. Those people. Yeah. Um, so what is your Face, not face, your job job thingy involve writing contents of things. So, yeah, so I have to uh, write essentially all the bits that customers read on the website. Right. I say I, I am helping to do You're that. You're a member of the team. A member of the team. Well, part of the machine. Um, and then and then I get to input it into HTML using templates that already exist because I don't know HTML. Is it HTML 3, 4 or 5? I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, they just went, here's, a web, here's our thing. in-house thing that you use and you just copy and paste your stuff in there and it makes everything basically yeah okay cool uh, they've taught me a few bits mm-hmm. just so i can do the really basic stuff i know it opens with a less than yeah exactly yeah uh <laughs> less than i could do the real simple formatting that means that mm. my content looks correct yeah. less than center more than 
I yeah, exactly. That. Yeah, it's yeah. um, so one bit I remember from IT from like ten years ago. There we go. Um, and then other than that, I turn around to a slightly cleverer person and say, "I would also like it to do this, please." And they make that. Uh-huh. Yes. So you have a, a gym. A gym. A gym will fix it. I do have a gym will fix it. And yeah. He will fix it, but not do any of the other things that Jim probably did. No, like touch it. Exactly. Yeah. Inappropriately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's not let's, let's not, go, not get into that. Let's territory. not go down the Peter so yes, That is what I'm on day two of it, and. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of brain work involved, and I don't like that. As opposed to your last job, which was a lot of ear work. Uh, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I also have accepted a new uh, jobby thingy. Uh, Again, we should not say the name of it for copyright reasons. No. Um, But they do proclaim that they will purchase any personal vehicle that has four wheels. Oh, okay. Yeah. (laughs) So um, uh, they are also a class leader in that. In doing that. If the times were to be believed. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, And when do you actually start that new? uh, I have a start date of the 2nd of May. Excellent. Yes, uh, which is, I am on four days training where they're paying for me to go and stay in Milton Keynes for oh. four days. They should pay you to stay in Milton Keynes, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, I get food and, 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 and living and things. Yeah, you should also involved. get an apology amount of money. <laughs> well, I mean, they're going to... We're gonna... so sorry for sending you to the concrete capital of the world. It's a, I mean, I'm getting, on average, about eight grand a year more for doing it, so I'll take that as an apology. Yeah, that seems <laughs> yeah. like a fair apology. Not that I don't mind the job that I have now, but mo money. But did it feel good to hand in your uh, resignation? Because I think um, it always does. Not uh, yes and no. Yes, because it's I'm going to go somewhere that will make me more money. Yeah. No, because I like the people, most of the people. What are the people? You like yourself. I like me. But well, you're going to be there. No, well. no one else does. So, <laughs> well, the new job is literally just me in a box for ten hours. A day. In a box. It's, just, it's my niff in a box. I believe is the Lonely Island song. <laughs> So we're both onto Ventures New, which is very yes. exciting. Yes, which should lead me to have a place of which I can call my own, mm-hmm. which means I won't have to bring this ragtag podcast on the road anymore. Excellent. So there will be a, a permanent, permanent setup yes, podcast have, place. Or at least a, a setup in which it contains all of it, so I don't have to carry oh, it Oh, wait, all. no, that means I'll have to come to yeah, you. It does. Oh. Yeah, it does. God damn. No, it's fine. I work later, so I can pick you up en route home. Ooh. A lift, that sounds much better than me actually walking there. Yeah, I mean, you'll have to walk back, so I'm not coming back out to drop you down, but that's 50% less effort than you had originally intended on. Yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. It's meeting you halfway, I suppose. Right at the corner line? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. again, another song you probably don't know. No. no. I believe that is the uh, the Black Eyed Peas. Oh. Um, not to be mistaken with the Poddington Peas. No. No, no, very different set of peas. Yes, they are, some, some would say decades apart. Some would the, say that. Yeah, and also not... No, I wouldn't say they're art, the Poddington Peas artists. Yes. Mm. Yes, they clearly are. Mm. They are artists. They are drawn by artists. <laughs> yeah, but they themselves are not artists. Yes, they, they are. are. They themselves are yes, art, they not are. artists. No, they put on a show. <laughs> uh, they're performers, I'll give you that. They're, yeah. No, uh, they actually, in one of the episodes, they actually put on a show. They are artists. They um, write and perform oh, okay. a show. Uh, fair enough. I, I don't know. Again, before my time. Yeah, all right, I'm old. <laughs> Anyway, um, important thing to remember, everyone out there: Poddington peas and the Black Eyed Peas different are not the same people. No, no, as much as we want them to be. Mm. Um, so I had a brief look at the news, although it was depressing. Um, um, yeah, the funny. the the second coming of Margaret Thatcher wants us to vote whether we want to keep her or not. Yes, some people think this is a good thing; other people think it's a bad thing. I'm of the bad thing. My, well, no, I'm I'm of the bad thing that I don't particularly want to go out and vote because. It just seems like a lot of faff that can be avoided. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm of a good thing that we can get rid of Margaret Thatcher II, yes. possibly. Yeah, but, well, maybe. Yeah, but according to a recent survey, she's actually the most popular leader in the country really? at the moment. Yeah. She's got like 49% wow. approval rate. Everyone wasn't. else must really suck. Yeah, well, my, th- my thinking is everyone who voted to leave is probably not going to vote her in. Yeah. Um, so, and that had 48% of the vote. No, 49% of the vote. Is it 51 or 49? I forget. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Again, this is also depending on... You're trying to get the entire population to come out and vote with a month's notice. Yeah, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I'm expecting an even lower than normal voter turnout than we normally have. Yes, yeah. Which I believe generally on populations, our voter turnout is pretty good. I think it's fairly decent. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't give you any numbers, but... No. Well, considering it's... Um, what, one of the longest standing Western world pol- parliaments, I want to say? 
Let's go with that. Yeah. Again, that absolutely right. no no backup. Like I'm sure. I mean, people are going to go. Mm, it's, well, they would if anyone listened to this. Um, hey, we might get an answer from Florida. Yeah, maybe. Or uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Florida didn't watch it last time. Oh, Florida. Yeah. Um, Let us down. The. I don't know. At least in its current form, I want to say. Sure. It's, I mean, most of Europe's probably had the similar thing. It depends what you... I'm willing to believe you. Now I'm thinking about it. It probably sounds really stupid because we did have a reigning monarch for a very long time. Parliament only really took over a couple of hundred years ago. So I, I, I retract my statement for fear of being shouted out by Harry because he did politics and oh, and, yeah, hi- and history. So I retract nothing. <laughs> I retract everything. I don't know about you. We live in a modern society where you're accountable for everything. I retract everything. <laughs> everything, Not- everything. Can't no- prove it. I wasn't there. Yeah, no. Pixar didn't happen. First rule of the internet. Yeah. And then if not, second rule of the internet. Tits or GTFO. Mm-hmm. Um, so the main bits of the news that I found this week, well, it's been a very Star Wars heavy week in the news. Yes, yeah. Which now means I have to avoid trailers for the next six months going back to last episode in which I d- abstain from all and any t- trailers because they are spoilers. I have not seen the teaser for Last Jedi. I haven't. I, 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 um, it got to the, it's now got to the point where Harry now tells me, like, he showed me the first five stills and going, if you mm. see this at the beginning, this is this is Star Wars. Avoid it. I'm like, okay, cool. Cheers. Okay, got you. Yeah. I mean, the, if anything, then what I'm going to see is the first five seconds because that's all YouTube will, makes me watch. Mm. If it's a video that I can't skip it, I'll just close it. Yeah. Fine. You, are you listening on YouTube? I know I use you as the main platform for the seven people who may regularly come and watch my content but don't subscribe. Um, <laughs> the, yeah. Goddamn bitch. Um, yeah, I will just, if I can't skip it, I'll just close it and I'll Fair. do something else. Um, but the bit that I have looked into is uh, Battlefront 2, because I'm a massive Battlefront fan from the original okay. one. Yeah. Um, didn't play the new re- reboot. Oh, so, yeah, reboot, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront. New the, one. Yeah, yeah, Star Wars Battlefront circa 2014. When does episode 7 15? come out? 16, 15. 15. It was Can when episode 15? seven. It's when episode seven came out. So it's every fi- yeah. Um, I didn't play that one. I played the be- the beta because everything now has a beta. Yeah. Uh, so I played that one. I'm like, okay, cool. So it's like playing battle uh, Battlefield, and then I didn't buy it. Yeah, I mean, I think that was it's Battlefield, it's, but with the lightsaber sounds with, with pew pew lasers and pew pew lasers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I wasn't particularly enthralled with it. I've I've looked at it now. It's at a more reasonable price. So I also mm-hmm. refused to pay. Uh, it was apparently very barren. Like it didn't have any single player. No, it's um, purely multiplayer based. Yeah. Um, so I was like, eh. and there was only. I think at the beginning there was only a very small selection of maps. Yeah, it's like four four planets. Yeah. Or, or you got the, the you get the extra one, which was the planet we forgot was I've forgotten it again now. Jakku. There you go. Pulled that Jakku. from. Pulled that out from the back of my ass. That's between two. Yeah, that's Tatooine yeah. 2. The one we couldn't remember last time. Tatooine oh, 2 is yes, Jakku. Yes, Jakku. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. And there was the, the Battle of Jakku bonus thing if you pre-ordered right. it or you I got see. it for like a pound on CD keys. Right, yeah. Um, uh, and then there was other ones. And apparently the last one fixed it because it yeah, put like cool. space battles in because it was the Death Star run. Uh, or, yeah, Death, Everybody wants that. Death Star run, yeah. Not to be confused with the Starkiller Death Star run no. from Episode 7. Nobody wants that. Mm, well... I don't know. According to the fans, a lot of people did, but they've they've forgotten Screwed that they'd already seen it once. Is. Yeah, they've forgotten they've already seen it once. But this one actually looks um, quite good. Yes. So the last one was set over. Uh, I, again, I don't really know. It wasn't. Didn't really have a a setting. It was just like tri- original trilogy and then seven. Yeah. Kind of it floated on the periphery. Um, this one contains all of the universe, so I know mm-hmm. you'll be happy with that because you've got the trilogy, your favourite of the three films. Yes, yeah, yeah especially yeah, episode clearly. one. I know you love episode love one, episode one yeah. so much. See, I actually do quite like episode one. So, um, somebody the other day actually told me that they really liked episode one. Did you stab them in the heart? Well, I was going to say after I managed to relieve the pressure of my hands around their neck, mm. um, they explained that it was because the foot that was the they were younger than me. Surprise, surprise. Most people are. <laughs> yeah. um, they pointed out that episode one was actually the first Star Wars they ever saw. Okay. And from that point of view, I can actually understand why you would... See, that's that's why Star Wars episode one is my favourite, because it's the first Star Wars I saw in cinema. So yeah, I was like, aware of Star Wars beforehand, yeah. but going to the cinema your first and Star seeing Wars it in... Your is always going to have a special place. Yeah, it's like your first girlfriend that lets you put yourself inside her. Exactly. And no matter what, they could be a complete and utter arsehole, but... Yeah, they're always still they're always place. there. Yeah, it's always a special place. Um, so yeah, this one. But the the cool thing is, it does have Darth Maul, and we all do yeah, like Darth, Darth Maul. Maul is cool. Yeah, 
Um, the one and only person to ever show have a double ended lightsaber. Yes. In 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 ca- now in canon because yes. there was other extended universe, but that got deleted. Thank you, Disney. Um, so uh, it's going to have an actual single player. Mm-hmm. This time, Good. according to this, was announced at the Star Wars, the same place they announced the teaser trailer. Sure, they also yeah. announced this. Was this the Star Wars celebration? Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah. yeah, I forgot the name of it. Star Wars thing. Um, stuff. So, yeah, it's going to have a canon single player universe, mm-hmm. which has a female you know, comes across as an antagonist slash protagonist um, because she, a uh, name of Aiden Verso, who's an Imperial commander. Um, so you're playing actually from the end of the post mm-hmm. Empire. It's set after Return of the Jedi. So yeah. uh, Emperor is no more. Uh, mm-hmm. And actually in the trailer you see they're on. She's on. Oh, what's the moon they're on? Not is it Endor with the Ewoks. Endor, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so she's on Endor, and you actually watch um, Death Star 2.0 blow up. Yeah. Um, well, I suppose Death Star 1.5 because it's not finished. Yeah. 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 So Death Star 1.5. Um, yeah. Star sh- Killer is 2.0. Yes. Yeah. Because um, that's that's completely. It's, well, it'd be 1.1 then, because it's the same format, just improved without the small hole. If we go, if we use, uh, no, it's ling- got a different small hole. Well, it's got a big hole at the back of it. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, <laughs> it, it's actually kind of got exactly the same problem. Yeah, but they didn't blow up in the same way. No, that no. would have been too easy. Yeah. <laughs> like, actually, we could just use that plan we had from. A while ago, yeah, well, worked George, fine. George Lucas wasn't director at that point, was he? He only wrote the story. So if it was him, I'm sure he would have blown it up in the exact same way. Probably. Uh, like, <laughs> I mean, the general thing is, I'm sure that I'd like to think at that briefing, like someone just raises their hand. It probably someone like Jeff yeah. or something at the back going, just puts his hand up. Didn't we do this once before? Can we not just do that again? Can that guy not just shoot it? He did it before. Again, yeah. yeah. I don't want. I don't want to go and fight that thing. It's got a big pew laser on it. Just use the force or whatever. Yeah. That one. Post explosions. Yes. Yeah. Just gonna make sure that it has kept recording because it's. Uh, that is me. Come on. No, it hasn't. Fantastic. Right. It's not diffi- technical difficulties there with my laptop, so we have, did lose a little bit of recording, but we'll, not too much. Um. So yeah, basically she's um. She's the antagonist for um. Well, potential antagonist for um, sort of the transition for New World Order and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, End of Empire, how it turns into and how the how they build Star Killer Base and there's people like uh, a lot of scaffolding, I would assume. A lot, a lot of scaffolding and really? suns. Like these are lots of suns. Yeah, like yeah. A ton of Jesus Christ. That's a lot. It is a lot. It is a resource. Contractors. It is, it is a resource. Contractors sink. everywhere. Yeah, so many contractors. And it'll never be done on time. They'll be yeah. way over estimate. Yeah. It'll be, yeah, it's going to be a nightmare. It's all right, they've probably got the Rebels to pay for it, though. So it's <laughs> That's Blue Harvest uh, tech that I have there. I have, yes. a, I have a lot of techs. It happens. Um, so, and the, the main thing is she vows to avenge the Emperor, apparently. Oh. So, I don't know. It could it could, possibly, could possibly be um, interesting. I don't I know. I also hear that as a, like a uh, business model, mm-hmm. they are not looking at doing paid DLC. All DLC is yes, apparently that w- going to be free. Well, they haven't said they haven't said no paid DLC. They've said no season pass. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so they they have got plans for longevity for the title. Yeah, which is fair enough. You expect that, particularly yeah. from something like Battlefront. I would expect new well, anything maps, Star Wars modes. as well. Anything Star Wars just yeah. makes people throw money at it. Yeah, so. exactly. So I would expect that. Um, but yeah, it's rumored to have. It said, well, they've said it has no season pass, but they're, yeah. they're, there's a long way to say that it's not just going to be if you want to pay for it. And they said they're going to try and keep people away from being stuck behind a paywall. Yeah, so it's good. It will be, I imagine, something like, yeah, we've got this new mode. It's done in this multiplayer hopper. If you want to play it, go into that one. If not, play the normal one. Yeah. Um, which I mean, still divides the community because everyone. If you've got, if you're someone like me who will half play the game maybe pick it up when it's cheaper mm-hmm. um, there's a good chance that there'll be like seven people in one for the standard one and then you've got everyone in the new new ship playing yeah. that one because that's kind of like it was with um, Days of Old with Battlefield because yeah. they, they had separate hoppers for different expansions so Battlefield 3 I think it was you had like you've got yeah standard Battlefield playlist and then you've got Battlefield Premium Feel playlists like, yeah Call of Duty did it with the map packs that they used to release. Yeah, Halo did it as well. Yeah, um, yeah. With, with their ones, you got the Halo Two ones. It's like, yeah, if you play this one, you can do this one. If you have the the new yeah, Rust just, yeah, expansion, you often, yeah, you, you found trouble rotating into the maps that you that you actually had. Yeah, yeah. People were busy playing the ones 
that you didn't have. Yeah, so, so it could possibly be that one, but I'm sure they're, they're aware of it and we'll probably try yeah. and address it in some way. Uh, Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker uh, rooms to be playable within the single player, possibly, but almost certainly going to be heroes available in this one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Luke Skywalker was a hero in the other one, but uh, Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker are at least going to appear in yeah. the storyline. Uh, and the interesting thing as well, it's part written or co-written by uh, Walt Williams, who was the who wrote Spec Ops: The Line, oh, okay. which had a really cool single player. I didn't actually play it, but I've seen like playthroughs of it, mm-hmm. and it kind of. Um, have you played Spec Ops Line? Are you aware of it? Not, no. It took a very anti-war route mm. on a war game. So you go and you, you basically go through this war game in the desert, and every so often, I think one of the you just start killing innocents and stuff like that. Wow. So it's like it got proper gritty with it. Mm-hmm. So there's some some buzz around it being him, basically. Interesting. Um, that's all the notes that I have on that. So um, there was a couple of other bits I was going to talk about, but I can't remember now. Um, yeah, I didn't make any other notes other than that. Apparently, the um, the teaser for Last Jedi mm-hmm. is a shot for shot copy of the teaser for Force Awakens. How is it? Yeah, like almost identical things happening on the screen at the same time. However, saying that, I when I was doing media studies at school mm. four thousand years ago, watched give or take. Yeah watched the original trilogy on three screens at the same time and they're the same star wars is fairly formulaic oh yeah as long as there's as long as there's like scene wipes and yeah. like but it was to the point like oh vader's on the screen at the same time in the movie doing basically the same stuff to the same people mm. well vader didn't really do anything ever no although i watched uh, until i was going to say until rogue one I watched Rogue One again. Yeah, I bought Rogue or One. Or Rouge, Rouge One. If Rouge you're One, if yeah. you're anyone on the internet. Yes. Watch Rouge One today. Did you really? Did you? Yeah. Did you? Uh, so I well, watched look at Rogue One, which yeah. I find is a much better film. Yes. Uh, because I got it on Blu-ray. Because The blue resource. It's the best Star Wars of the race. to have come out yes. since the original trilogy. Um, much better than Force Awakens. Much better than 1, 2, and 3. Hmm. It is. Uh, yeah, leave leave ask we your comments for people in the in the comments. Yes, yeah. uh, people that's, from Florida can disagree. With this me. Is, Actually, like, this is where a big triggered symbol. Yeah, will flash. like ninety percent of the world will disagree with me because yeah. they're wrong. Uh, Force Awakens, Force Awakens is amazing. Yeah. No, Force Awakens was a new hope again. Yeah, a new new hope. It was almost perfectly that. Anyway, yeah, there was. Whereas Rogue One actually made a new hope. Not to say that any other, not to say that Episode Seven is a bad film. It's just not a mate. It's not it's different. Just blah. Yeah. Whereas Rogue One is actually very good. But anyway, that scene. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen it. The fuck I you! Wrinkle it's out. my forehead at this point because that's so incredibly unlikely. Yeah. But there's an amazing scene be at someone. the end with Vader in the corridor of a spaceship mm-hmm. being insanely badass yeah it's the only just like oh. the only point where Vader being feared is justifiable yeah it's in that like, scene they See, must have just filmed that and shown it to everyone in the universe and gone this is why you're scared of him yeah oh yeah that yeah. makes sense yeah I mean he, I was just scared of him because he was like 6 foot 2 and wore a giant black breathe. suit and breathed at me and had a red lightsaber which automatically lets you know they're a, bad- a badass yeah exactly so, no in this scene he just properly is oh it's brilliant hmm he just rips them apart. It's fantastic. Yeah, he's very good. Um, yeah, it's, that's the first time we're like, oh, it's, I actually found out why people are scared of this guy now. Because before, yeah. when you after that, when you see that bit and you go back and you go, well, he's really, he hasn't really done much. No, like, like Vader is a character. He he held a guy up with the uh, in the in a spaceship, uh, and and then he choked a man at a boardroom. Yeah, and then he flew a spaceship and twiddled away. Yeah, uh, and then he. Didn't do a lot in the second one. No. Well, the fourth, fifth one. He walked around, walked down a snowy corridor, with, hold, yeah. held a lightsaber, and catched a laser with his hand. Yeah, but didn't catch it. it just absorbed a it laser bullet with his hand. Like, it's imposing. That's all it was. It was just it was the music. To be honest, yeah. when the music came, Imperial March. Went, oh, yeah. trouble. Um, yeah, as uh, oh, what was it? Was it Hizzy? Hmm? Uh, how it should have ended. Um. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a YouTube yeah, channel, which yes, I don't yeah, know yeah, if yeah. I'm allowed to mention, so I'm sh- I yeah, recommend. Yeah, it's probably fine. fine. They're very entertaining. I mean, no one's going to listen to this. They're, they're not going to listen to this. They so. do animated shorts where they show you how films should have ended. It's very entertaining. Mm-hmm. I think it was them that did it. It was either them or Honest Trailer, I forget. 
Uh, it wouldn't, probably wouldn't have been Honest, Honest, Honest Trader. Honest Trader are very good as well. Although well, Honest Trader did a Destiny one, which was quite funny. I Honest quite Trader like do Honest Trailers for yeah. films. I don't really know how else to explain it. One of those two, I forget who it was now, made the very good point that you see that scene with Vader in the corridor kicking all, all of kinds arse. of us. Yeah. Um, and the next time you see him, if you watch the films in sequence, the next time you see him is in A New Hope, yep. where he has a terrible sword fight, a lightsaber fight. No, you see him in with, the corridor. With Obi-Wan. Oh, sorry, yeah. No, the next time you see him do any action. Action, yeah. He has a um, very, very he has a really, underwhelming... really awful fight yeah. with Obi-Wan. I so mean, that... they're both meant to be old men, but it's like, this is set what... I mean, like, Vader's, Vader's not meant to be that old. It's like 40. A week, two weeks later from yeah. the events at the end of Rogue One, yeah. at best. I'll say Vader's only in his 40s yeah. at that point. It's Yeah, he is. But I suppose like Fif- he is fifties, fifties. He's, he's late. He's late. Robot. It's late teens, isn't he? At the end of three. Oh, who cares? And then the 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 originals are set thirty years after. I, I want to so, say yeah. something like that. Twenty thirty years. Yeah. So he's going to be twenty mid forties, late fifties, maybe. I suppose it'd be about twenty. He, his kids are born at the end of three. Yeah. Uh, and Luke's, Luke's meant to be like nineteen, twenty, eighteen, nineteen, somewhere yeah. around there, isn't yeah. he? So yeah, yeah, late teens. Yeah, so it's so it must be twenty thirty or something. Like that. Yeah, some, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, it's quite funny when you go. I I still think Rogue One and it should have ended thirty seconds earlier. It just just it just should have. It's the, the it just it all it always just leaves a, a sour taste in my mouth. It, it's um, again spoilers. CG Carrie Fisher, rest in peace. Um, yeah, it's just it it just it, like, the last bit of the film just leaves you in the uncanny valley and it just leaves a very sour taste in my mouth. Yeah, it should have just left it with... super awkward. You already knew what was going to happen. Well... You didn't need, like... All they needed was for you to see the back of Princess Leia and then yeah, cut. Yeah, you could have done... That's it. That's all it needs. You could have just done the back of her. You're, you're right. Like, all you need to know is know is, it is Leia. fair... But at that point, if you don't know exactly whereabouts is happening and what's going on, you're an idiot. Yeah. Um. So, But, that, but I just I mean, want they that... I mean, they did CG Tarkin. Yeah, no, but... It's, so, I mean... At that like, p- if you're them, yeah. why would you not do CG Carrie Fisher at that point? I mean, not to, uh, as an inappropriate joke, you're going to have to do CG Fisher now. Yes. But, um, I mean, you had to do CG Tarkin, but yeah. I was okay with CG Tarkin because so, he was never up close. One of the... Um, he was always, like, middle third. Because I'm never... a real saddo. Mm-hmm. I, if it's a film I really like, I will watch all the special features on the Blu-ray as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and on the Rouge One special features, yep. one of the special features is um, they go into um, like detail about characters, including talks with the actor, yep. and then also with the writers, the production crew, and all this sort of stuff, real background stuff about yep. the characters. And one of the things they focus on is Tarkin. Mm-hmm. Which is Christopher Hitchens? No. Uh, Christopher... Oh, God, there's too many Christophers. And yeah. I'm tired. Christopher Lee? Christ- is it Chris- no. Yeah, it's Christopher. I'm going to get murdered for this. No, no, Christopher Lee is Dooku. Yeah, I feel so bad. Christopher. I'm going to Google it. Yeah. Oh, so... Now my brain's just going Walken. No, no. No, it's not Christopher. That would have been amazing. <laughs> hey, Vader. I'm rewriting uh... the, sh- the whole film with Christopher Walken in it. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, while you Luke, check... get back here. <laughs> while you check that. God, why can't I remember who it is? Uh, Graham. Terrible. Tarkin. I know who it is, I just can't think of his fucking name. Christopher. Why is it not telling me who played it? Where's IMDb? Why am I on Google? Anyway, keep vamping. Keep just... Yeah, so anyway, um, while you do that, I'll get to the point. So yes. obviously they had to have someone be Tarkin. Yep. They didn't CGI the whole thing. They only CGI'd the face. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. there's got a bloke with green dots all over his face, fully costumed, with this weird contraption that points cameras directly at his face, yep. mapping everything he's done, and then they've CGI his target's face, and they literally just plant it on him. And this guy that's doing it, that plays Tarkin the second time round, yeah, yeah, yep. the interview with him was basically just him saying, I am terrified to do this, <laughs> because I have a huge amount of respect for the original, Yep, and obviously Grand Moff Tarkin is... Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing. When did you get Christopher? From? I That's don't why know. I couldn't think of Rose. Yeah. The wrong name. No, I knew. I knew. Peter that. Cushing. Who's it? I, oh. said, I said Christopher. Christopher we Christopher Hitchens. Christopher Hitchens is a reason. fucking writer. I don't and know what the fuck is him. We all just jumped on it. Anyway, let's ignore that horrible breakdown in our geekery. Do you know Peter Cushing used to live in Whistable? I didn't. Yeah, Whistable's very nice. Yeah, there's uh, um, it's a Alan, it's a Alan Davis joke. 
on QI. So there was a band uh, that he used to go and see that had a song about um, Peter Cushing. Goes, mm. I see him on his bicycle, I see him down the shops, I see him buying milk. That's how I know, he used to live in Whitstable. Excellent. Yeah, anyway. Good stuff. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, this guy's just saying it's like a slight, I, slight window that goes on in my brain. <laughs> lovely. Uh, this guy was just saying like I've got a huge amount of respect for Peter Cushing. Um, obviously, Grand Moff Tarkin is a really important character in the canon. Like, like, again, doesn't really do much, but yes, he was just terrified. He was of yeah. screwing this up. Mm. This poor guy. Yep. Um, and part of the thing was him practicing. Just him sat in front of an iPad with clips from the films, just practicing how to say things yep. as Peter Cushing just working on his impression for him uh, and I think he did it really well like all of the audio the voice isn't Peter Cushing mm. recycled it no. is this guy it is that guy doing it yeah. you do not notice it at all one thing was that do you want to move your mic a bit more into your mouth because I think it might be getting a bit more I can do that there we go Meh. just to try and avoid the thing that we had in the first one where I disappear because I yeah. get comfy and forget there's a mic here yes that one so natural so natural doing. Yeah. so yeah that was really interesting um also, um, it's that 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 special section made me really think about how multicultural the cast is. Yes, very. and Star Wars has always been very big on British actors as well. Yes, yeah, there's quite a few of those because it's um, they they shoot in that Ealing. film. Yeah, that film studio North North oh. London, um, the one they did Batman in as well. Pinewood. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And they shot a lot of it, um, a lot of this film in one of the quarries near Blue Water. Oh. Um, it's where they did a lot, like because obviously it's all mining around there. Yeah, um, they used a lot of that stuff. Mm. I saw a lot of Star Wars extras applications when Episode Seven was shooting. I was like, oh, I could go do that, and then I didn't. I, I could do this, but I probably won't. I'll just not end up annoying people going, "Oh, it's in Star Wars." So I yeah. thought I, I thought I'd save people from that. Because yeah, I'm an annoying bastard anyway. You could just lie and say you're in Star Wars. Oh yeah, was, see that that person in the mask that was me. Totally me. Totally me. I hope the new one has as much prosthetics as the other as the first one did, rather than CG. Yeah, like like actual physical effects yeah. rather than CG. Yeah, effects. I think use physical whenever you can. Yeah, it's so got it's a lot got... of the sets in Rouge One they actually built. Yes, the same with the rather than CG. Rather than yeah. the the trilogy, which was like eighty percent CGI. Yeah, yeah. and it, you can tell, right? Like, hmm. You can really tell. Yeah, yeah. I I know what I mean, they did. The original, it to make it... The, all the big cityscape backdrops were fucking painted. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and it worked yeah so. yeah and everything was little models yeah did you know that uh, Adam Savage from uh, Re- who was on Mythbusters was uh, worked for ILM and did some of the really? Star Wars stuff yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. he's got a, a, ch- a channel called Tested mm. on YouTube and he does one day builds building props and things mm. um, it's quite fun I do like Adam Savage as well so. clearly yeah um, yeah the other only other thing I'd say is uh, we had a, a fun Thursday well, the week just gone, myself and yourself. We did, and some uh, and, the, and the Kespeth and, and the Erin. Yes, um, and the Joel. And the Joel, yes. We all got very drunk, Joel didn't, because Joel's a respectable Joel member of human being. Joel was driving. Yeah, well, he's also a respectable human being. That too, we're yeah. not. No, I'm definitely not. Mm. Uh, I, I don't remember a lot of the evening, for honest. Um, I, I went heavy on the cocktails. We did go heavy on the cocktails. No. You didn't do anything particularly stupid, so I wouldn't worry about that. Oh no, I'm not worried. I'm not. I don't think I did. Other than the fact it took me like an hour and a half to walk home, and I did live like half. It an took hour you away. about an hour and a half to get out my door. Probably. You had a lot of trouble with your shoes. Probably. They seemed to be confusing you. Yeah. The laces specifically. Well, I, I mean, they were tied up because I had to one time this morning. Yeah, I no, worn you them did tie them up. I watched. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Just took me a long time to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, I was going to offer to help, and then I realised I probably wouldn't be of any more use to you because <laughs> I was also fairly drunk by that point. Yes, it was a very heavy. <laughs> I don't think two of us trying to do up your shoelaces is going to make it any quicker. No, no. But it was a fun evening. We played games. We did play games. We played. Don't do play. Cards we against played, humanity. Uh, Go sushi. You should go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we played go. Cards Against Humanity because we always do. Yep. And the, the zombie dice game. Zombie dice game. Which is literally called Zombie Dice Game. Yeah, there we go. I played that a couple of, on the Sunday with did some other friends. Have played anything else? No. What else did we do? Did we watch things? I don't know if we did watch things. Did I don't we? think we did watch anything. We just talked about things. We we caught up. We hadn't seen the Kesbeth. In nearly a year. Or the Erin. Or the Erin. In, in quite a while. So, so we had a catch up. Yeah. Basically. Well, that was a fun evening. It was a fun evening. Um, I also normally we do quizzes. Uh, I didn't get around to doing any quizzes to okay. quiz you on. So it being a lot of uh, Star Wars week. Yeah. Uh, I have never have this, and as you can hear from that, I have never played this. It's Star Wars Triple Pursuit, generally on DVD. Okay. But I thought I'd just ask you the questions. 
okay, sure. And Let's then we can split it up, that and then you can test me. It's mostly based on the original trilogy, I okay. feel. Okay. Well, with um, my, with my strong, in- strong ability to know who Peter Cushing is, I think... <laughs> We're off to a great start. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is all going to be very, very nerdy stuff. Uh, but it's fine. I didn't revise for this, and I can't even open the fucking packaging. Right, so you right failed now. the first so, test, yeah. which is getting into it. Eh, open. Open God. says me. God damn it. Right, Make the thing happen. It's in. It's fine. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. That's also what I say to my girlfriend. She still didn't notice. Nope. Sorry, Thrones. Give yeah. them a shuffle. Doesn't matter. I'm not... They're open. It's not the point. Give them a shuffle. Up to the mic, so we all know you're doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the sound of shuffling. The sound of shuffling. Every day, he's Every shuffling. day, I am shuffling. Do, 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 do. Probably do. not every day. We're going to get sued. I don't know. I play a lot of games. No, it's fine. Only five seconds. You've got five seconds before YouTube con- um, content blocker comes up. Oh, really? Okay. So, Wicked. Yeah. Right. Right. Are you just going to read every question on the card? No, I'm going to have a look at them. Um, pick one that you don't think I'll get right. Okay. <laughs> wow, these are very nerdy. Oh god. Probably not that well. Uh, Full disclaimer. I'm tired. That's not a disclaimer. That's I actually know, I actually know two of these. Okay. Um, I'll give you some original trilogy ones because you'll know them more than the the, pr- the trilogy. Yeah, I've probably got a bit more hope. Um, Although I've probably seen the prequels more recently. Uh, who explains to Luke that the dark side is not stronger than the Force, but is quicker, easier, and more seductive? Once again, who explains to Luke that the dark side of the Force is, uh, is not stronger than the dark side? Sorry, that the dark side is not stronger than the Force, but is quicker, easier, and more seductive. I think I know this one. Yes, I do. It's got to be Obi Wan. No, it is Yoda. I didn't think it'd be Yoda because I can't imagine him saying seductive. <laughs> I don't know. He's just for he, no. He has. He doesn't have a problem with his words. He has a problem with his sentence structure. He's part. I German. can imagine him being seductive, but He's... I can't imagine him saying it. <laughs> uh, some candles lit, little negligee on. That one. Is that, uh, okay. Uh, do 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 do. Next one is. Am I meant to be keeping score? No, I'll Good. I'll keep score if how many you get right. Uh, what I think we'll do is we'll we'll go well, if I do one per card and we'll see how quickly it takes you to get five points and then we'll switch. Okay. All right. Uh, da 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 da. <laughs> what does Luke Skywalker use to dispatch the final Imperial biker, biker scout? So this would be from Christ. Episode Six. I did know this one as well. Uh, what does Luke Skywalker use to dispatch the final the Imperial final biker one. scout? Yes. So in the scout bike. Race across Endor. Yeah. What does he use to kill the final one? It's only really a choice of two weapons, really, with this one. Well, no. Hmm. Well, yeah. I just don't know. I can't. I can't say anything without giving you a hint, and I'm not doing that yet. Uh, I want to let you. Yes. So you have one point. As I say, the only real answers would be blaster and lightsaber in my head. Or tree, but that's yeah, that's, that's tree, the same. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they doesn't that uh, Ewok? Yeah. He throws an Ewok into the engine. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just um, mm, Ewok soup. Uses force undermine and just gets into the head, and so it's very like just wills them to kill just themselves. Slows down, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, da da da. Oh, this is an easy one. What ro- uh, what colour do the uniforms of the royal uh, the emperor's royal guards? That's, Red. That's the easy one. Yeah. Yeah, you know when it's so easy that you go. Or is it? Is it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Who? No, not that one. Who claims that Merlin Falcon has saved his life quite a few times? That is a very easy one as well. Han Solo. No. No way. No, it's, it's Lando. I, I, that was my Billy D. Point. Williams, sir. Billy D. Williams claims that. God damn you, Lando. Such a line. He says that on the yeah, deck as he tur- yeah. as he turns up. Uh, da, da, da. Who's shown spending time in cell two one eight seven? Think about it. It's Who's shown sp- layer? Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, yeah. See, I was just it. running through the film trying to think if you see any other people. Yeah, yeah it would only be Jabba's palace would be the other one. But, yeah. Um, and that would be numbered. Surely. <laughs> I want to ask you this just because you hate it. Uh, how many Gungans sit on the ruling council? Oh, like uh, some, more than one. Wait, <laughs> I need a number. Hang on. I need a number. 
the ruling council will be the ones when they turn up after going through uh, going through the core. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're always a big fish. Always a big fish. God, you know too much <laughs> about Gungans. Uh, I'm gonna say big Cuba fish. Five. Fuck me, you pulled that out of somewhere. Yes, five. Yeah. One would be Boss Nass. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I just pictured him, and I was like, I'm pretty sure he's got two guys. It's going to be even. Him. It's Boss Nass yeah. plus even. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's not going to be three. That's too many. Could be seven, maybe. That three seems a bit side. much. Yeah. It's a lot of Gungans. Uh, it's a lot of money spent on CGI. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, what city does one character deem too small to fall under the jurisdiction of the Empire? What city does the one character deemed to be too small to fall under jurisdiction of the Empire. This is in is in the original trilogy. How many cities are mentioned? In Not that many. Exactly. And the only one... Well, the only one I'm thinking of, mm-hmm. I'm sure isn't referred... I didn't think was referred to as a city. Okay. What one are you thinking of? And would you like, likely. And would you like that to be your answer? Uh, yeah, sure. No, it's Cloud City. Oh, fuck you, Cloud City. Cloud City's not small! Cloud, I mean, it's, it's not big. It's a giant floating city! <laughs> yeah, but it's not big. It's not the entire fucking planet, is it? <laughs> is that how big it has to be? <laughs> well, Planet-sized I mean, cities yeah. are under the jurisdiction of the Empire. Anything I'm, smaller than that, we don't bother. I'm, I'm assuming Coruscant does fall under the, the, the jurisdiction of the so Empire. Your face. Mm, depends. Depends who's sitting on it. Uh, that one's too easy. I've already given you a lot of easy ones. Have you? Uh, yes. You got red as a goddamn answer. That's true. Um, <laughs> that's an easy one as well. Is that from the original? Okay, no, that's from the that's from the prodigy. I want to ask you that one. No, go on. Ask me something for the prodigy. From the prodigy. What one thing does a communication disruption mean to Co Bibble? Pardon. <laughs> Exactly, this is why I wasn't going to ask you that. What one thing does a communication disruptions mean to CO Bibble? So, see, this is from the original. Yeah, uh, hang on. What happens in the original trilogy? Jedi. Why, who, would, who, would, who would block communications in the original? Monkeys. Um, space monkeys. Space monkeys. Space no, monkeys. that's Planet of the Apes, dear. Uh, so it's a different sci-fi trilogy. Uh... No, fuck it, I'm going Jedi. <laughs> Jedi no, Invasion. Uh, it is so, it said, I believe C.O. Bibble would be the old guy from uh, Naboo. Oh, uh, okay. Um, could be wrong, though. It could be uh, the guy who was also in Hobby City. Um, <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, this is a nice, easy one to win. I should get your fifth point, yeah. Uh, what is visible through Darth Vader's armour as he's blasted with Force Lightning? His skeleton. His skeleton. So that took you. That's fine. Way too many. Uh, I, I think you got about a fifty percent hit rate. I can't pick these that's up because I'm an invalid. Uh, you got five in nine. Okay, that's not bad. It's not terrible, is it? Now I will momentarily stand up. Yeah, I'm not moving. So there we go. Right. right. You were actually picking questions, weren't you? So. I was. Yes. Each card has a selection of five questions, and I was looking through them to find what one I would would think would be. Pose, uh, pose a question but not be hard sure so it's something you've got a chance of getting right yeah a couple of ones I gave you just to like because they were easy ones every every quiz needs a couple of easy ones that one's way too easy so actually we start Jedi. You off with an easy one Jedi who whacks R2-D2 on the dome for refusing to replay Leia's message uh, that is, that, that's Luke Skywalker is that your final answer uh, refusing to play Leia's yeah Leia's message I'm pretty sure it's other, it's other Luke or C-3PO. Uh, it'd be Luke. Let's go. No, it's C-3PO. Ah, God damn it. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Oh, this would be the sort of thing that I think you would... You okay. Know, it's quite... It's a bit techy, but... Okay. What Imperial vessel near the Death Star... Mm-hmm. Does Obi Wan describe as a short range fighter? Uh, short range fighter. We Imperial cruiser. No, it's tie, tie fighter. Tie fighter. I thought it was too obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like me with red. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
I mean, I'm sure an Imperial Cruiser could do short range fighting. Uh, what establishment is Han Solo sitting in when he meets Luke? 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 Cantina. For the first time. More size of Cantina. Yep. Stop now for YouTube content blocking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we don't have to pay like Disney any rights for using some of this. I mean, this is this is Trivial Pursuit Ooh. as well. So Right, this could be an interesting one. Interesting. This might be a bit tricky. Okay. But I'm going to roll take, with it anyway. I'll take tricky. What two characters... Mm-hmm. Although that should be which two characters... <laughs> Uh, address Obi Wan as General Kenobi. General Kenobi. So uh, two characters. It Only is two, apparently. Uh, General Kenobi is General Grievous, and it is the uh, Trade Federation guy from Episode One. No, oh, no, it's uh, not. I'm is sorry. It, is it D- Count Dooku? No, it's no. Princess Leia. Ah, uh, no, actually, yes. I thought you'd get that over Grievous. I'm nah, very impressed when you got Grievous nah. right off the bat. No, because he goes General Kenobi. Does he? Yeah, he does. Know. Yeah, okay. when he's when he's fighting nothing, which is why that fight is so much promise. Yeah, I know. It's, but it's what happens when you get a man to fight a green screen. <laughs> It's like, oh my god, General Grievous has got four arms. And four got, arms and four lightsabers. He's got the lightsabers of every Jedi he's, he's killed. Oh my god, he's... Shit. They're in a car oh. chase. Uh. Oh, he's lame. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's in a car chase. All right, cool. He's not even as good as Darth Maul. Jesus. No. Um, Darth Maul's pretty badass, though. He's not even good as Dooku. At least Dooku actually had a fight. Yeah, but... That doesn't make any sense. Does it? No. What does Yoda mm-hmm. call his class of Jedi children using training droids... To sense the force around them. Younglings. Yes, indeed. I feel like you're throwing me softballs now. That is until Anakin slaughters them all, obviously. Yeah. Poor younglings. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. I've seen him killing younglings. It says Ewan McGregor. Yeah. Trying to bring some form of emotion to Star Wars. Just desperately trying. Just desperately trying to bring some form of emotion to, uh, to a, a green room. <laughs> Who admits to being... Much too frightened to tease a senator. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Um, no, it's not fuck, 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 fuck. Is it not? God damn it. Uh, much too frightened to tease a senator. Oh, that is uh, um, um, Palpatine. No, it's Anakin. Oh, fuck. <laughs> when he's trying to make googly eyes at... Uh, oh, I thought it was in episode one when... Um, it was going when his attempts to seduce her are incredibly creepy. Oh yeah, Just well I mean he's also twelve creepy. at the time and she's age like seventeen. Yeah, but like even later when he's a bit older, it's, the whole thing. Well yeah, I mean he spent his whole time stuck in the, effectively a convent. Mm. Uh, what imperial officer mm. does Vader strangle to death while saying "apology accepted"? Oh fuck! Oh, I can't remember his name. I'm gonna clear with that one. Uh, Captain Nida. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think. Oh, you see, you said I was throwing you softballs. So yeah, and you, and you, uh, toughened and you up. threw me a fastball right to my noggin. I hardened. Yeah. Too Who, early for that, though. We're still yeah. recording. Who's the first character willing to trust Lando again after his betrayal of Han? Uh, it's going to be Leia or Han. Uh, Leia. No, C-3PO. Oh. oh okay. I don't know as much about Star Wars as I thought I did. It's all right, neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're still doing, but you've, you'd have had your five by now. I'm, I've already got like six wrong at this point. I got two right. Uh, <coughs> uh, choking to death. Who is waiting to greet Darth Tyrannus? Tyrannus? Darth? Tyrannus? Darth Tyrannus? Uh, upon his return from Geonosis. Darth Tyrannus? No, Darth Tyrannus. Oh, that, that's um, uh, waiting to greet him. Yes. Yeah. Upon his return from Geonosis. So he gets back from uh, Geonosis, and who's there going, Yo, what up, DT? Darth Tyrannus. Um, return from Geonosis. It's got to be Palpatine. Yeah, I'm going to give you that. Was it Darth, Darth Sidious? Is yeah. what I said. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm yeah. going to give you that. I forgot that I, my complete Spoiler blank. I'm like, alert. I complete for blank on who Darth Tyrannus was. I'm like, Oh, it's Dooku. It's Dooku. Yeah. It's a stupid character with two names. Yeah. <laughs> Or uh, was it a Christopher, whatever his name was that we said earlier? Peter Cushing. <laughs> no, no, that's... that's <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, the Nazi hunter metal band player. Yeah. Sauron. Yeah. Whisperer. Uh, Christopher Lee. That's it. Uh, let's see. 
what planet does Princess Leia consider her homeworld? Alderaan. Not anymore. No. Rip. Too soon. Oh, one more. One more. One more. Got to get one. I've wrong. got to get this right, and we tie. Uh, I well, only have a quick check. I think I've. I think I've got six wrong. You only got four wrong. I'm pretty. I know I've got more than four wrong. Yeah, you got six wrong. Yeah, so you've won. Th- I think we'll do best of three. Okay, I've won this round. Yeah. Uh, who warns Chewbacca not to touch the dead animal he discovers? Um, some of these are really obscure, aren't they? Not to touch the dead animal he's found. When does he find a dead animal? Yeah, I, I actually genuinely. Obviously, I've looked at the answer. Yeah. I can't think of the scene this is referring to. When does he? T- when does he find a dead animal? It's got to be on en- Endor. Maybe. So it's on- it's only going to be either. Is Chewie on? Hoth. Cause he could yeah, fi- he could find on Hoth. They could find a Tonton. Is it Chewie? Don't touch that. No, is it Rancor? I don't know. Fuck me. Um, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Han. Maybe it's, it must be Luke. Luke, uh, okay. but I still, I don't know. Yeah, I can tell. Still you what can't it, think no. what what the sitch is. What's happening there? It's, it's nice for you to ask me that question. When you're like, I don't know if I can Luke. Yeah. Uh, meh, 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 meh. Some of these are really, really difficult. Yes, they are. Oh dear, I'm full of the burpees right now. Mm. Who discovers that slicing the head off General Grievous' guard doesn't stop it from fighting? Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Cool. So you win that round. I went five and seven. Uh, yeah. I made that, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So if you keep yours here, I've got more here and I can ask you in the next round. Yeah. Okay. So These are obscure. Some of them really can be, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here's, a, here's an easy... A uh, trilogy question. I want to know if you can get it right. Okay. Uh, After my hatred of the trilogy. <laughs> yeah, it's a specific. Well, um, yeah. You. It's, it's episode one because it contains two characters. Are only in episode one, so I don't have to hide that fact. Okay. Uh, what object of Watto's does Qui Gon manipulate using the Force? It's a very easy question if you know the one. What object of? Uh, what object of Watto's does Qui Gon Jin? Blue flying thing, isn't he? Why you wave your hand like this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You think you're some kind of Jedi? I'm a Tandarian. So what? Jedi his... don't mind trick. Don't work on me. Yeah, all right, all right. yeah. I got you. Uh, what item belonging to Watto? Yes, does, does Qui Gon he... manipulate? It's, it does have a name. I will accept a general, normal equivalent of it because I I wouldn't have called it this. I'd have called it something else. Okay. But what object of his? Christ. I can even tell you the scene and the colours involved on that object as well. I can remember... Do you remember the scene? I think so. Do you remember what they're betting it over? No. Uh, but so I'm going to go with dice. Is it his dice? Uh, yes, that's what I would have said. It's his yeah. dice. It's a chance cube. Of course There's, it's, it's a, a chance cube. <laughs> it's a dice. Yeah, it's, it's a dice. Um, it, the rolls, it's red and blue and they're betting over Anakin's mother. Yes. Well, they're betting over Anakin or his mother and yeah. Qui-Gon uses the force to make sure it's Anakin rather than his mother. Oh my. Yes. See? What a horrible decision you made, quite <laughs> on. It's all his fault. The whole thing's his fault. Well, he was, he was full of the Medichlorians, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so, just so chock full of them. Just chock full of them. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I think I know that one. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, do, do, do. That's an easy one. That one's an easy one. Uh, I'll give you an easy one. What creature does Luke Skywalker bash on the finger with a big rock? What creature does Luke Skywalker bash on the finger with a big rock? See, I know all the fucking answers to this one without even looking at him. What big fight? What big creatures does he fight? Probably Is it not just the big Yeti thing? The, are you going to go with the Yeti thing? Yeah, I can't remember what it's actually called. No, it's the Rancor. Which one's the Rancor? The Rancor is the one from episode six when he falls in the pit in Jabba's hut. Oh yeah, yeah. Ah oh, crap. Yeah, no. Big, if you'd have said, uh, yeah, big beastie. Yeah. Like if you said, I should have asked you what film. Yeah. Basically, I was the, trying to think. The Yeti's the thing. I was going through all the things he fights and trying to think of which ones have fingers. The and yet- the Yeti thing was the only thing I could think of that did because he cuts yeah, he, his arm off. He cuts his hand off. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Which is a definite theme in that. Uh, okay, you probably won't get that one. 
That's an easy one. There are just like not even real Star Wars fans, just moderate Star Wars fans listening to this going, God, <sighs> these guys suck. Yes, yeah, they are. For two geeks, we're doing really for badly. People, for people who proclaim that we know a lot about this thing, we really don't. If this was uh, a drinking game, we'd be sober. <laughs> yeah. No, well, no. If we were drinking, we'd be really drunk because the the drink, drink like, every time you get it wrong. Yeah, that's the fun. Yeah. That's the way you play drinking games. Right. Um, da, da, da. Uh, that's already been an answer. So another. Okay. Uh, who steps on a twig, giving away the planned ambush on scout troopers on Endor? Who steps on the twig, giving the away Han. the ambush? Yes, it is Han. Yeah, I remember that. Mm. There were some really easy ones in there I didn't want to really say. It's like, who refers to the Blooming Falcon as a bag of bolts? Uh, Leia. Yeah, exactly. So it's not... Like, mm. I like that question, but it's too easy. Yeah. Um, so I can't have Ooh, that prelogy either. question. Oh, okay, go on. Who, reveal, who reveals, I found a way to save you from my nightmares? Who reveals, I found a way to save you from my nightmares? It's a really easy British question. Is it Padme? No. It is oh. Anakin saying he's found a way to save Padme from his nightmares. Oh, wrong way round. Wrong way round. I thought it was Padme saying she'd save Anakin from her nightmares. No, no, no. God, oh Anakin, yeah. Anakin he has, has the, 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 the yeah. angsty, angsty um, oh, force dream things. I think I blocked out any scene that he was in from the prilogies. <laughs> uh, it's, good th- it's not a bad thing, really. Is it? <laughs> it makes uh, him a lot shorter, certainly. Who? Um, that's too easy to. Even if you try and work that out, it's too easy. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, what imperial leader meets his maker shortly after asking, "Evacuate in our moment of triumph"? Again, what imperial leader meets his maker shortly after asking, "Evacuate?" Question mark. In our moment of triumph? Question mark. Question mark, technically. Question mark, question yeah. mark, question mark. Um, is it Tarkin? It is Grand Moff Tarkin. Yeah. Who is not Christopher Walken. No, he's not, but should have been. It should have been. That's all I can do, otherwise we'll get content ID blocked again. Um, <laughs> Use the fast, yeah. <laughs> Use the forks. <laughs> uh, ah, here we go. Uh, who, as pilots, head towards the second Death Star, offers the benediction, may the force be with us. Who, as pilots head towards the, the second Death yeah. Star, offers the benediction, may the force be with us. Uh, balls. Nope, not balls. Oh, <laughs> is it not balls? Nope. Not balls and Tilly. I'm trying to remember if it's one of the pilots or if it's someone back at like base HQ. Watching base HQ. Them. Yeah. No, those base HQs. Those buttery biscuit base HQs. Love a good buttery biscuit base HQ. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's just pick some random bit part. Is it Wedge? No. Is Wedge dead by then? Wedge, yeah, yeah Wedge. This is episode six. Wedge dies. Wedge carcass in the first one. I'm pretty sure Wedge dies in the first one, doesn't he? Oh, or is he the one? Is he the only one to survive? I, can't can't, I forget. To survive. I don't know. Fuck you, Wedge. I can't remember. Oh, 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 like, all like the main thing I remember is Porkins. Porkins. Yeah. yeah. Cover me, Porkins. I'm a little bit of trouble over here. Uh, again, that's uh, all I can think of is Blue Harvest. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Admiral Akbar. Oh, of course. The force be with us. It's tricky because all you think of him ever saying is "It's a trap," and that's it. He has no other lines. In the whole thing. Talks like a Dickensian fat man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Me and a friend uh, spent a wonderful afternoon uh, watching. Um, which one were we watching? I think we were watching episode four. Uh, but we were redubbing all of Vader's lines as mm-hmm. if. Um, as if he had no peripheral vision, but oh, he wouldn't yeah. have in the helmet. They wouldn't, no. So there's a lot of... Well, he could do. He could have sensors. There's a like, lot of bits where he turns around and there are people quite close to him. Yeah. So the whole thing is... Just oh, going, oh, my God, you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> you're well, so very... fired, Admiral Insurance. <laughs> I, uh, I I do apologise for the very loud spikes that just happened on the audio. <laughs> that was Vader being surprised. Yeah. Oh, God, you're right there. Hello. Uh, <laughs> You've got to there's, stop sneaking up on me like that. There is, um, I've got the force, I'll kill you. There's there's a very fun game that we play, um, which is from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, it's from a what a, a friend of a friend of mine, Jack, used to do, which is um 
was it uh, then uh, was um, oh, I'm saying um a lot. Words. Yeah, the, the wizard guy Gandalf. Gandalf. Yeah, when he says uh, "Don't tempt me, Frodo." Yeah, just change that. It's like, "Don't finger me, Frodo." <laughs> <laughs> just just putting that in. It's like, "Don't startle me, Frodo." <laughs> <laughs> this it's a very fun game to play. Yeah. Uh, I might. Do I hit you with another prelogy question? How many prelogies have I done? I feel I've done a few. You've done a fair few prelogies. Yeah. Uh, let's let's not do this one then. Uh, da, 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 da. But I've not done very well on the the originals either. So <laughs> done better than I have so far. Uh, oh, see, I know this. I know half this card off by heart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, what pilot? What oh, pilot? words what pilot destroys the second Death Star's power regulator what pilot destroys the second Death Star's power regulator I've hit the power regulator good I I imagine it's what he says in the film you'd imagine so wouldn't you I'd imagine so I I feel he exclaims it in some way hence why it's a trivia question nailed it yeah boom right in the power generator uh Biggs no it's wedge. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Wedge. God damn I've it, Wedge. I've always hated you. Uh, da, da, da. But we know that you didn't cark it on the first one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. He doesn't. He does make it all the way through. Uh, what a dick. What vessel has a most peculiar dialect, according to C-3PO? What vessel? That has the most peculiar oh, dialect, balls. according to C-3PO. This is an, an original. Yeah. Uh, from the first one, I believe. Oh, crap sticks. Mm, crap sticks, indeed. Or is that your answer? I don't know. Yeah, crap sticks. A vessel called a crap sticks. sticks. So very... It goes, goes through space sideways. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It's really annoying, because I can remember him saying it. Mm-hmm. But I can't think when or why. It's the same thing I had with that question about R two D two. I I know the line. I can see yeah, it in my head. Yeah, I, just I can see it all happening. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to rush him. Is it the Falcon? It is the Falcon. Yes. Uh, you are currently on four. With four, so you're four, you're four of eight currently. You're gonna pick a really horrible one, aren't you? I've said this literally in this podcast, so oh God. you should know this one. Uh, what is Jar Jar's quaint one, nickname for big beasts that like the OPC colour? What? What was the end what, of that? What is Jar Jar's quaint nickname for big beasts that like OPC killer? Which is the big fishy. Oh. I have said this on, on, on record. Didn't you say a bigger fish? No, that's the that's Obi Wan that says there's always a bigger fish. Oh, is it? No, Qui Gon. Sorry, guys. There's always a bigger fish. Always a bigger fish. Always a bigger fish. Um, I wasn't listening yeah. to you. I never do. No, so I mean, I just wait like, for you to finish a sentence and then I say something stupid. Say the thing that you wanted to say. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He's a twat. So something like that. I don't know. Pass. Go- Gooba fish. Oh, good old Gooba fish. Yeah. What a prick. Yeah. Ah, I big, hate you more than Wedge. Big Jar-Jar. Gooba. Yeah, that's what I say. Ah, big Gooba fish. You could die in a hole somewhere. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, Damn, I'm going to at best match my previous performance. Here we go. Oh. What three characters... Oh, God, I've got to name three characters. ...mention a disturbance in the Force? Right, so what? Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. I've got to find two more. What three characters mention... Biggs and Wedge. <laughs> <laughs> Not my actual answer. <laughs> so we're, we're going to lock in Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan's locked in. He yeah. definitely says it. Yeah, I mean, he's, he says that before Al, like, as Alderaan blows up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vader. Okay, we'll lock that in. I'm sure Vader says it at some point. Mm-hmm. He definitely talks about the Force anyway. Mm-hmm. And Luke. No. God damn. It is Obi Wan. Yeah. Qui Gon Jin. Fuck you, Qui Gon Jin. And Emperor Palpatine. Damn, I got. That's when he. Uh, that's when he says, "Dispatch the things." I sense a disturbance in the Force. I feel young Skywalker is in danger. <laughs> dispatch the things. Is yeah, that dis- what he dispa- says? Uh, dispatch something to Mustafar. Okay. I feel young Skywalker's in trouble. Dispatch the what sits. Yeah. You know the the doohickeys. Yeah, the doohickeys. Doohickeys and the what sits. And uh, da da da. Damn. Ooh, this is quite a good one. What weapon is rarely out of Wicket's hand? 
What weapon is rarely out of Wicket's hand? His penis. <laughs> Little bastard. <laughs> No, no, it's not his penis. <laughs> it not his no, penis? no, no, no. He's, oh, uh, Wicket's an Ewok, isn't it? He is. So is it the bowler thing? No, it's his spear. It's his spear. Oh, it's is he a spear, spear Ewok? He's, he's a, he's a, it's one or the other. He, it's yeah, a he's spear a, or a bowler. He's a stabby Ewok, not a throwing stabby Ewok. Ewok. Damn you, stabby Ewok. Uh, oh, I'm doing very poorly this round. But I knew uh, that Wicket was an Ewok. He did. I get in. I'm sure that's yeah. some, probably some form of copyright music I've subliminally listened to. Probably. Um, oh, okay. You should get this one. Um, what planet gives R2-D2 a chance to eject a stream of muddy water from one of his dome ports? Hang on. What planet gives R2-D2 a chance to eject a stream of muddy water from one of his dome ports? Oh, dome oh, my- ports. Brain has collapsed. It's Swampy Land. It is Swampy Land. What's the name of Swampy Land? Meet Yoda for training. What's the name of Swampy Land? Uh, it's not on the uh, map of Swampy Land. Dagobah. It is Dagobah. Well done. There we go. That will. <laughs> is that your five? You weren't going to give me Swampy Land. I was give Swampy. <laughs> that is your five, sir. So this round. Yeah. You went. Five for. Five and seven, I believe. Two, yeah, I had a three, horrible run four, at the end. There. Five. It's five and six. Five and six. Yes. Okay, so that's your target. Yes. I mean, I got okay. five and six last time, so I, I, if I go five and four this time, we draw. If I go five and three, I win. Okay. Who tries to lock down a loose stabiliser during the first Death Star battle? A loose stabiliser? Mm-hmm. It's got to be R2-D2. It has. That was an easy one to get you going. Yeah. Get, my, get my juices flowing. Yeah. Get my brain percolating. Mm, percolating brain. I can Let's hear it going... <laughs> that's noise that percolates, mate. Yeah. I believe that's noise. I don't know. I don't drink coffee. Oh, this one's a bitch. Is it? That should yeah. be interesting. Oh, actually, that one's quite nasty as well. <laughs> but we'll go with the real bitch. Okay. Uh, how many... D. Tri- <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> how many triangular sections... Yeah. ...make up each of a TIE Fighter's solar panels? Because you can work it out. If you're picturing it right. I'm going to say 12. Six. Oh, fuck. (laughs) I thought it was three per segment rather than two per segment. Uh, Let's see. See, if only I'd bought... See, this is why I should have bought that £130 Lego TIE Fighter. I'd have known that. Exactly. Yeah. That's Lego, yeah. All I need is justification to buy more Lego. What yeah. <laughs> What quiet planet mm-hmm. welcomes few visitors to its capital, Tipoca City? Tipoca City? Tipoca. Oh, fuck, is this original? Could be this, Tipicar. This is original, is it? This is, uh, no, no, this is Prilogy. Prilogy? Okay. Tipica. What, say it again? What quiet planet welcomes few visitors to its capital, Tipoca City? Oh, that's, uh, oh, fuck, it's the giant hole capital. Um, shit. It's one where he fights Grievous. Um, or oh wait, no, is it the, is it is that the Gungan city? Is it Naboo? No, fuck. It's either Naboo or it's the tall guy when Obi Wan rides the giant blue chicken with legs. Um, <laughs> I can't remember the fucking name of it. Um, oh fuck, I can't remember the name of that planet, so I'm just gonna go Naboo. Okay, it's uh, Camino. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it's tall white. Long neck bitch. Yeah, oh, no. it's yeah, clone yeah. clone planet. Yeah, yeah. The the planet of sea of the yeah. sea. With actually quite a cool fight between Obi Wan and uh, Jango Fett. Yes. Before he gets his head cut off. Yeah. Spoilers. Rips. Uh, Who's infinitely cool than Boba Fett because you actually see him do stuff rather than Boba Fett stand there and look surly and then get eaten by a giant worm. Yeah. For 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 indeed. Apparently, getting his own. Um, Stand alone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. It'd give me a reason to find out, find out why people think it's cool. I mean, he looks badass. I just don't think the character's cool. Yeah. I mean, now he has no credence to be cool because they've deleted the extended universe. So, Who's the first rebel... Rebel. Rebel. Mm-hmm. ...to verbalise mm-hmm. that the Falcon's escape from the Death Star was too easy? The first rebel to... do 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 um, 
Try to think. First Rebel. It's got to be Leia. Yep. Yeah. It's either that or it's going to go Mon Mothma. But, yeah. It's because they had a tracking device in the Falcon. Spoilers. For, Spoilers. for a 50-year-old film. All right, this is... This is a bit of a bitch. Okay. Where does Uncle Owen... Mm-hmm. Get his blue... No. Uh, where does Uncle <laughs> Owen tell Luke to go to have R2-D2's memory erased? Oh, God. Um... Oh, fuck. Do you even know the answer to this without reading it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um... Although, as soon as I read it, I remembered it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that's cheating. But yeah. As soon as I read it, I knew the answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um... Oh, fuck. Uh, Uncle Owen goes... Go, don't forget to go to mm, and get the droid's memory erased. Mm-hmm. Um, go to, go he, to. He, he actually says a place rather than just saying. Mm. Mm, mm. Um, don't forget to go to. I mean, it's not, it's not more size because it doesn't fit. It's a one-word name, I think. You might have to start rushing you here. Uh, oh fuck! I don't know, Dave's. <laughs> Dave's Dave, Dave's Robot Repair Centre <laughs> Don't forget to go to Dave's Yeah uh, It's Anchorhead Anchorhead uh, no, I prefer I Dave's though yeah, If yeah. I'm honest with you Dave's Robot Repair Emporium Yeah Let's see what we got I just want to point out the fact I've known most of the answers To the ones I've asked you with, Without having to read <laughs> Yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> some uh, Jay doing some sweet jazz licks yep. there. <laughs> How many legs? Okay. I always want to ask a fake question. <laughs> How many legs did Vader lose? Uh, no. How many <laughs> legs does a power droid use to get around? A power droid. Power droid. Oh fuck! A power droid. Where's power droid? Is that, is that another name for a gonk? A power droid is what it says. A power droid. How many legs? Power droid. Get around. Power droid. How many legs? Is that even a trilogy? Is that a trilogy question, that one? Um, I think it's a trilogy. Power droid. But I couldn't actually be 100% uh, sure. Be, uh, it's got power droid. I mean, it's going to be probably two. You're going to do two? Yeah. It's two. Yeah. Power droid. I want to. I want to say that it's, it's a gonk because it just looks like a giant walking battery. Yeah. But and I feel like a gonk is only given the name because it just goes gonk, gonk, gonk. Not quite as good as uh, mouse droids. Mouse droids are my favourite. I just like droid cars because the name sounds cool. There's a question about droid cars in it. So what three? What three-legged droids curl up into a ball to move around? Droid cars. Droid cars. Jedi are no match for droid the cars. They kind of are. They they, they destroy they're a match them for pretty much everything, really. Yeah. Hence, one no Jedi has been killed by a droid car. What Dark Lord, mm. according to Chancellor Palpatine? Oh, um, Darth Plagueis the Wise. <laughs> discovered how to keep Take the one people alive. Dying. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I, I'm oh. happy. I'm happy. I got that so quickly. You got one, two. Yeah. One to answer. You've only got three wrong so far. Oh, I could win this. You could win this. We could be. It depends how how painful a question you want to go for. We could be into a tiebreaker situation. We could go into a tiebreaker. I think we do tiebreaker. Well, I mean, if I get, I've got in this round, I've got to get less than six. Because you went for. What are we going to do it on total? Just no. I think just on who wins the round, right? Yeah. So I've I've actually got three to play with then because you went five and six. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think if we do go sudden death, yeah, we do sudden death. We just one question each. First one to get one wrong. Or or guess get first one get one right and the next person get one wrong. Yeah. 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 I was gonna I was gonna suggest because we are at one minute four one hour fourteen currently. So what troublesome twosome does Rogue Two locate on Hoth? This was quite easy, actually. Troublesome, troublesome twosome. Rogue two. Yep. Oh, that's going to be Han and Luke. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So we go sudden death. Sudden death. Cool. I will start the round of sudden death. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what do you want? Because these of these actually have six questions. Should we just pick you one give, card you and give, work our way down? Then? No, no. If you give me number one to six. 
and I'll read the question oh, okay. related to that one. Okay. So that okay, way, that okay, way, okay. that takes our bias out of it. It's okay. based on the question okay. you've selected. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So no, no. one to six. Four. Lucky number four. Number four. Who promises the Trade Federation that their invasion of Naboo will be ruled legal? I'll accept two answers. Who promises the Trade Federation that their invasion of Naboo will be ruled legal? Uh, Palpatine. Yes, or Darth Sidious. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I have to get this right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, normally it's got to be a seven, but it's only got six. So I'm going to go with two. Two, okay. Mm. Whose first line in Return of the Jedi oh, fuck. is Yoda will always be with you? Leia. Nope. Fuck. Han? Obi-Wan Kenobi. Eh? Alright, okay. Yeah, no, that... Mm. All right, okay. Yeah, well, you win. <laughs> that was a really boring sudden death. <laughs> yeah, well, sudden death was quite sudden. Yeah, it was. It's like, oh, all right, it's over. Done. Cool. All right, well, I mean, it is about time for it to end anyway, because it has been an hour and 16 minutes currently. People so. will definitely have killed themselves by now. Oh, yes, almost certainly. I mean, I'm tempted. Yeah, but I'm, I'm always tempted. On the verge. So. Of loving? Oh, um, <laughs> that's, McLovin? That's on the edge. Anyway, um, Stop ag- again, another saying song. songs I don't know. <laughs> you must know on the edge of loving. I'm on the edge of loving. That's, uh, it sounds 80s to me, so you must know it. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> good point. <laughs> Very good point. Uh, right, well, I'm gonna sign off this podcast. Do it. Um, sign it off because yeah, I want to go home. Yeah, and I've right. got games to play. Uh, right, so thank you very much for watching. This has been episode three of uh, the Non-Refundable Podcast, otherwise known as the Codcast. Uh, I've been yeah. Niff, uh, he has been Jay, as always, um, and as always, go and check out Jay's blog, Band to the Bone, which is Band to word- the Bone, wordpress.com. Do, do, yes, that one. Uh, are you Googleable yet? Do you know? Have you Googled I, Band to the Bone to see if you pop I up? I think we are Google, Google, Googleable. 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 I'm not quite yet. There's still a Chinese company that beats me. Ah, yeah. um Because they just picks the 177 and picks yeah. that one. But I do come up, but I'm like ninth on the, yeah, on yeah. the feed. I, yeah, so. I don't think we're top, but we no. come up. But you'll be there. Cool. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week. Are you free next week? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I sure. won't be here the week after that because I will be away in Milton Keynes. Yes. Um, so we may, I may ask if we could pre-record that one on a Sunday evening, oh possibly. Yeah. Um, and then we I can, can figure something out. Yeah. yeah sure. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, obviously, we've got more content uh, on my YouTube channel, 177entertainment.com. Jay's also a member of Group Beaters who put things up as well. Yeah. Um, I'll plug theirs for, for you. Because oh, te- technically you're the, the social media guy. Technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously you've got uh, 177entertainment.com for all of my content that I'll create and possibly exclusive stuff coming up in the future as well. And I am also looking at hosting this on a actual RSS feed for things like iTunes. It's just very expensive for me at the moment, so it is coming. Um, but first of all, will be job which pays my monies, which means I can do mo things for the mo monies for mo the, things. Yeah, mo, mo money means mo things for the channel. So, or if you want to, you know, pay me, that'll also be cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you very much, guys. Once again, I've been Neff. He's been Jay, and this has been the non-refundable podcast at One Seven Seven Entertainment. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye bye.